Hey guys, I'm Annie Young. I own AY Covered Border Collies. Today I'm going to show you how I teach my young dogs to not work my horses. If this is something you want to see, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, like this video, and let's go ahead and get started. talk about basic dog behavior. Herding dogs are also known as stock dogs or working dogs. Then you can break them down into sheep dogs or cow dogs. All herding behavior is is a modification of predatory behavior. Through selective breeding, humans have been able to minimize the prey drive in these dogs while simultaneously keeping the hunting skills within the dogs. So this takes away the need to kill, but keeps the need to control the prey animal. Granted, some dogs are a lot more aggressive than others. You have certain lines that are a lot more aggressive. For the most part, we took away that prey drive and we kept the hunting skills. And this is where you see a lot of dogs creep around or they have that stalking behavior. Border collies are probably the most well known for that. And that's what that hunting skill is. And while our dogs can't not decipher between a cow, a chicken, and a horse, dogs see all of it as the same prey animal. Since they can't decipher when we first get them or as they're growing up that horses are not okay to work but cows are, this is where we need to come in and teach them that there's certain animals that we want them to work and there's definitely certain animals that we don't want them to work. Ideally, we want these young dogs to already be walking on a leash. They need to understand pressure and release. I think a lot of trainers and handlers have their own discipline sounds. Mine is a growl or I'll growl the word hey and all my dogs know that that means I better stop what I'm doing, pay attention to what my handler needs and I'm going to be asked to do something different. Um, this is taught pretty early on, so if you have something that you can use that way, that's going to be really helpful in helping your dog understand that horses are not to be worked. So if your young dog doesn't know any of the basic training that I just mentioned, I would suggest maybe holding off uh, to teach your dog how to stay out of horses until he knows these basic uh, obedience, basic handling skills, because it's going to be a lot easier on him if he understands what a discipline growl means um, and how to accept pressure and, and what the release feels like. It'll set him up better for success and you'll be a lot happier too because you've got that handle. So now that we've went over some of the basics of dog behavior, especially herding dog behavior, and we've covered some of the basic training that your dog should have before we introduce him to horses, let's go ahead and get our first dog. So this is House. He is a 10 month old Border Collie. I personally bred for him and raised him myself. He is now my father-in-law's dog. And House has been um, herding the horses when he's loose and when uh, the horses are around, he uh, shows a lot of interest in working them. And he hasn't been on cows yet. He should be starting his training here soon. But this is a dog that we're gonna use because I think he's gonna be a good example of what a dog looks like when they wanna herd horses, what to do when he shows you signs of having interest. Now, I just wanna put out a disclaimer that I'm not claiming to be a professional dog trainer. I would consider myself an intermediate handler. That's the class that I trial in when I go to dog trials, so I think that's appropriate. So don't take this to heart. It's not set in stone. These are just the things that I do with my personal dogs that have helped me, and I really hope that they help you too. So leave a comment down below if you have given this a try. If it works, if it doesn't work, if there's something else that you've done that has worked, please let us know in the comments below. So I've got House here. We're going to first show you um, what his basic obedience and handling skills are. Hopefully you can check them off your list if your dog can do the same thing. And if he can't do the same thing, like I said before, it's really ideal that he knows how to do these things before we introduce him and tempt him with horses. So now that 
that we've gone through some of the basics, we're gonna tie house up and we're gonna go run in these horses. <laughs> tied up right here and the reason why I did that is because if she can stay just stationary and calm um, this will help house in the process of learning not to uh, work courses and so she's tied up and she'll just stand there if I had her loose in the arena or the pasture or the round pen she would probably walk around she's away from her friends they would probably entice her to want to run around uh, being tied up is the best way you can go about this and the same with house I've got house on a little uh, six foot leash and this is going to help me control him too I need that contact with him here um, to be able to control him and to ask him to do the things that I need him to do so long story short we need to have as much control on the situation and the animals as we can without completely confining them and forcing them into things that they don't want to be forced into <laughs>
this is where I'm going to end it today. He did really good. You don't want your dog training sessions to go too long. You don't want them to be half an hour, especially with these younger dogs. House is only 10 months old. He's not even a year yet. So I don't want to sit here and hound him and drill him on these kinds of things. I want them to be positive experiences. So we were out here for maybe 10 minutes. Um, he really performed well. He took his redirection well. And so I'm going to call it here. I'm actually really happy with what he did today. I expected him to be a lot more aggressive towards the horses. Putting him on a leash and bringing him into the arena, uh, I was really happy with how he performed. My best advice to leave you guys with, since he wasn't quite as aggressive as I thought he was going to be, is don't shelter your dogs from your horses. If you're going to catch horses to ride in the arena today to work on turnarounds, catch your dogs first. Tie them up somewhere secure, out of the way, where you're not going to put a ton of pressure on them with the horses. But let them see the horses. Let them hear the horses. They need to be around the horses um, to become desensitized to them. Well, thanks for watching my little video about how I get my dogs to be around horses. If it works for you, let me know. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I can try to help you. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel. I'll be coming out with more uh, cow dog training videos as well as cow pup training videos. Um, and I'll be coming up with some cow dog vlogs as well. Anyway, thanks for your support and we'll see you guys later.